Chica the 30 most influential Hispanics in sports posted 11.2.2017. This article originally appeared on C.com Hispanics are reshaping sports in America. With Hispanic Heritage Month upon us, SI is honoring the 30 most influential Latinos in sports who aren't athletes, the coaches, journalists, CEOs and other innovators who shape American sports culture and industry. This list, which is unranked, defines influence by how each person affects the fan experience. These household names don't just offer a diverse perspective, they enrich the American sports landscape. Occupation, co-owner, Colorado Rockies hometown, Albuquerque age, 66 Alvarado is the president and chief executive officer of Alvarado Construction and president of Palo Alto Incorporated. Restaurant company. After making her fortune in the business world, she turned to the sports world. Alvarado became the first Hispanic female co-owner of a major league team, and the first woman ever involved in a formal bid for ownership of a major league baseball team, when she became co-owner of the Rockies. Alvarado was inducted in the National Women's Hall of Fame in 2003. She has long been a stout advocate for diversity in the workplace, especially involving Hispanics. We advocate for Hispanics and other ethnicities, genders and diverse groups, because there is an underutilized talent pool seeking opportunity to create value to the growth and success of the company, she told Hispanic Executive in 2015. Occupation, Executive Vice President of Baseball Operations General Manager, Detroit Tigers Hometown, Havana Age, 59 Avila began his coaching career as an assistant at St. Thomas University, his alma mater. He was promoted to head coach and served as the school's athletic director until 1992, when he joined the Florida Marlins and became the director of Latin American Operations. Under Avila's guidance, the Marlins signed 1997 World Series MVP Livin Hernandez, who led Florida to their first title in franchise history. In 1998, Avila was promoted to director of scouting and signed 16-year-old Miguel Cabrera, who would become one of baseball's best hitters, a year later. He was hired as the assistant general manager and vice president of the Detroit Tigers in 2002 and remained in the role until 2015 when he was promoted to general manager and executive vice president of baseball operations. With the promotion, Avila became the first Cuban-born general manager in baseball history. His son, Alex, currently plays catcher for the Chicago Cubs and was an all-star for Detroit in 2011. Occupation, Senior Director of Hispanic Initiatives, ESPN Hometown, Patterson, New Jersey Age, 47 Balta began his reporting career as a producer for NY1 in 1994. Since then, he has worked for Telemundo, NBC, MSNBC, WCBS and most recently, ESPN. Baltus responsible for expanding ESPN Deports coverage and was the creator of the bilingual Max Y. Marley audio podcast and Nation ESPN. He also served as president for the National Association of Hispanic Journalists from 2012 to 2014 and is the co-founder of the Latino Multimedia Communicator Social Media Group, which shares, discusses and supports professionals and their products of interest to the Latino community. Balta is a passionate advocate for diversity, and his work constantly highlights the beauty of multiculturalism and Hispanic representation. Occupation, sportscaster, CNN Deports Hometown, Caracas, Venezuela Age 37 After specializing in sports journalism at the University of Simon Bolivar, Bucci began his professional career in radios in his native Venezuela. He first broke through in television at RCTV where he was a producer and commentator of the 2004 Olympics. Bucci moved to Miami in 2008, where he worked as a reporter and presenter on the Goal TV network. In 2011, he was hired by CNN as a producer and presenter of CNN Sports, and in 2012 became the main driver of the program and sports segments of Our World, Direct USA and World Panorama. Bucci's work can be seen and heard across different CNN platforms including podcasts, radio, video and social media. 
Occupation, Head Coach, Houston Dynamo Hometown, Cartagena Colombia Age, 50 Throughout an 18-year playing career, Cabrera played for clubs in Colombia, Argentina, Costa Rica and the United States. After retiring, he worked in Major League Soccer's front office as a community development manager working on Hispanic grassroots and youth programs. He earned his coaching license in 2005 and in 2007 was named head coach of the United States men's national under-17 soccer team, becoming the first Latin American head coach in the U.S. national team system. Cabrera would then become the head coach for MLS clubs Chivas USA and Rio Grande Valley FC Toros before being named the head coach of the Houston Dynamo in 2016. Occupation, sports commentator, NBC Deports Telemundo hometown, Buenos Aires Argentina age, 54 Cantor moved from his 